What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and coming at you with another Pokemon opening. So last time we said we're going to open up this Espeon Deoxys, but we got some new product in the mail. So we're going to instead be opening the pin collection boxes featuring Snorlax and more Pekko. This is going to be another kind of like product review episode, kind of like a is it worth it to purchase or should you pass? Um, need to come up with a catchier title. And actually, we got even some more stuff. We got these new mini tins featuring the Galar friends. So probably next video, uh, maybe tomorrow, we'll feature these guys. We do have all five, but we're gonna focus on these two products. So each one comes with three packs. It looks like two sword and shields Ugh, and a sun and moon base. You know, likey. So right off the bat, if I were to say, you know, these promos are nothing too crazy. I think promos for me to be worthwhile need to be some kind of like full art texture kind of card. The pins aren't bad. They they do feel like bigger than normal. The more pickles not bad, but I really like the Snorlax, and I would say this is the best thing going for this product. These guys MSRP for fifteen dollars a pop. Uh, you can get it cheaper in a few places like uh, Game Nerds and kind of stuff. But to be honest. I'm not too crazy about this one. Maybe this is not exactly a fair comparison, but the thing I naturally compare this product to is the last pin pin collection thing that I purchased, which was Hidden Fates. And Hidden Fates obviously is a specialty set and it's expected that the packs are more expensive, but the price point is exactly the same. So to that end, um, no, I don't think this, this is a very great product. If you like Snorlax, maybe it's just the one of. If you're in love with Morpeko, maybe the Morpeko one is up your alley. Overall, this product is kind of underwhelming, in my opinion. I do like that pin, though. We'll give it that. And we're going to have a quick opening. We got two Sun and Moon base and four Sword and Shield. So let's get into this. But yeah. Is this a good product? I would say pass, but we'll see how we do with these packs. Here we go into our first pack. Well, yeah, our opening of the Espeon Deoxys. Uh, ooh, what the? What? There's. I'm gonna take all the cards. It's like, what? There's no code card in here. Alright, now we're back to normal. Whoa, wow, a lot of. Good amount of chipping on these cards as well. All right, I don't even remember what's in this set. Although we are featuring Sunny Moon Base in our next coming uh, limited event on Twitch, and this Eevee maybe would be one of the important cards. Got a Snubble, and then ooh, Vicavolt. All right, so this thing can ramp up Leaf and Electric. Hmm, that would be kind of fun. Maybe we can mix this guy with uh, Rayquaza. As we do have Celestial Storm as well. But as a stage two, that won't be. Easy to pull off. Hope everyone's having a good day, despite uh, all the everything that's going on. Hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy, and able to find a good way to spend, you know, all the extra time that everyone has on their hand potentially. All right, let's move these sword and shield pack. Last time we opened up the tag power, tag team power collection. We did clutch up at the very end, pulling a very good Sun and Moon card, and maybe we'll have we'll be able to repeat that. And Chino, Rhyhorn, and the rare is War Beetle. This card is actually terrifying to me because of that ability, but the fact is, at stage two, I have yet to see this in any kind of constructed play. And these cards are upside down. Oh, the uncommons are upside down, specifically. I still have nothing to show for this opening. But we still have a few more packs. We got a Yamper. Ooh, okay. A Tapu Coco. We did get a single V card. On to two packs remaining. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow or the next video will be featuring these Galar mini tins. We'll see how those go. I think they usually only come with like two packs. So hopefully there is at least one good pack. <laughs> It'd be awesome if there's two. I think uh, the original one had Burning Shadows, which I thought was awesome, but then the second one was a huge disappointment. Okay, we got two V cards. I'll say that we actually got some pretty good boxes. Just getting two Vs out of only four uh, Sword and Shield packs. 
I don't mind whipping on the Sun and Moon base. So all in all, a very solid opening from a very mediocre product in my opinion. So one thing I want to do for this kind of like series is kind of go through situations where maybe this is a good solid product, uh, whether it's, cause like if you just go, let's say based on the price of per pack, you know, that's not always a fair comparison. Obviously like something like booster boxes will always be the best. Uh, so when it comes to that, that's not the best. Maybe like, oh, if you're huge into Snorlax, maybe that's a worthwhile thing. But to be honest, this, this promo is nothing too crazy. It is cute, but uh, I would say the best part of it is the pin. And the Morpeko, same thing. I do like that. I feel like the pin is a little bit bigger than normal. So, but that's going to be it for me today, guys. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Make sure you practice good hygiene and social distancing. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.